Fred from Coopers. Today we are discussing about the challenge of tick resistance. Ticks are a common problem to farming and very importantly lately is that ticks are resisting all the acaricides in use. So today our focus is how then do we manage to control the problem of tick resistance. There are about four factors which are very important in managing tick resistance. One, tick resistance is a natural selection process. So every time we expose a chemical to ticks or to any parasite, the process of natural selection starts. Because the acaricide will kill a particular number of insects or pests. And then there is one or two ticks which will not be able to be killed by the chemical. So what happens is you remain with the, with the tick which is not killed by the chemical. Then you clear the ones which are killed by the chemical, meaning this one now has a chance to multiply. So every week, every month as we are spraying our animals, we are destroying the ones which are susceptible to the chemical. And then the ones which are not are the ones remaining to multiply. So that is number one. First of all is natural selection. As we use an acaricide, we are selecting for a particular tick which is not susceptible to the chemical. 20 mils of grenel, we mix in 20 liters of water. So they are saying this measuring cylinder is sufficient to measure is 20 minutes. This is enough to mix 20 liters of water. So very important is to know the measurement by using a properly graduated measuring cup and then the medication, the, the medicine itself. So for grenade, 20 ml of grenade will mix 20 liters of water. This is sufficient for two adult cows. If it is heifers, the young heifers, that is four heifers. That is for grenade. Tratix, 40 mils, will mix, so which is these two measures of this, will mix 20 liters of water. 40 mils of tratix in 20 liters of water. We make sure that this is correct so that we have the right dilution for the medicine, for the acaricide called triatics. Triatics, 40 ml in 20 liters of water. That way, you have a strong concentration to kill ticks and to be on the body of the animal for seven days. That way, you'll be able to manage ticks using triatics and alternating with grenade in case ticks have become resistant to one of them. Sides. Then the lower, the, the four legs, right from the claws, coming upwards. Then we go to the head, to the neck. Going ahead. That is a very important part of where ticks will hide. And then now the other side. I, am I moving? Okay. Yeah. As we have demonstrated is the spraying technique. Do we know how to spray? Do we do the right dilution? Do we do the, the frequency that is required? So knowledge is very important in number one, how to dilute the chemical in use. Number two, 
how to spray the animals. We have demonstrated that we need to spray the animal from the back, from the lower back, going forward as we approach the head. Number three, where do we spray the animal? We have demonstrated that the animal needs to be restrained in a crash pen so that as you spray the animal, you are able to manage the process without the animal turning or being able to move. We have discussed about the dilution. We will demonstrate on how to mix triatics or grenade. How do you mix so that you ensure you are using the right dilution? A lot of challenges is because of economical reasons. So you'll find the farmer or the user will underdose. And in the process, what develops is you have a, a tick which is not being killed by the chemical. That one will now multiply the generation to produce a generation which is already tolerant to this chemical. That is now when you breed and the next form of resistance. The frequency. These chemicals are used every seven days, whether it is triatics or grenade, our recommendation is spray the animals every seven days. We have also demonstrated that a calf or a heifer requires five liters of the mix. But you realize many a times people use five liters for an adult cow. And in the process you are not able to cover the whole body of the animal. The other one is, do you come after every seven days to spray your cows? We've demonstrated that an adult cow will require seven liters up to 10 liters of the mix 